Hello and welcome. Uh, I'm flying solo today. My camera woman is busy. Hi. Flying solo as much as I can with animals all around me. All right, today we're going to be talking about rat cage accessories, stuff you can put in your rat cage for enrichment and comfort and all that fun stuff. Hi, Cujo. <laughs> All right, so let's just dive right in. So first off, there's hi, hi. There's the obvious stuff like hammocks. Whoop. Hammocks. They come in all kinds of different designs and stuff, and you'll probably find your rats like certain designs more. Like for example, these guys prefer bunk bed hammocks, which are ones that can be flat on top and then have an opening. And then there's the double decker hammocks that a lot of rats like. Heidi's right there, I don't know if you can see her. Uh, Humdrum likes tube hammocks and pocket hammocks, anything she can get inside and be all cozy warm in. These guys aren't huge on hammocks, but they also like bunk bed hammocks. So that's the obvious one. Easy to find, easy to come by. Next up, you have things like ropes. So I have, these are the big ropes I use in all of my cages. They're, I get them from Walmart because they're cheap at Walmart, but you can get them pretty much anywhere. Ropes are sold, like dog ropes. Uh, but you can also get, I've seen people use equine ropes, and I've seen people, hello, and I've seen people who uh, DIY their own ropes, and there's some on Etsy you can get. You can also get ropes that are uh, supposed to be bird perches, and those ones will have a thing on the end that you unscrew, slide through the bars, and then screw back in. I have had bad luck with those personally, but like they're not bad by any means. It's just I've had a lot of them break and I've had some of them break to the point where I almost couldn't get them out of the cage, which is why I prefer these because I can just take some C-clips or I have to use metal ones because the weather girls are chewers, but I just take some C-clips, wrap them around here and hang them in there and they come in various sizes, which is nice. You can also have wedges like this. There's lava ledges, there's wooden ledges, there's bird perches that are small but can be ledges for rats. They you can get chinchilla ones that are uh, that are like designed funny. Like there's, I've seen steps, I've seen um, balconies, I've seen little corner ones that go like right up here so that <laughs> so that like they could sit in the corner. Uh, and any of those would work. Uh, the only thing, you can also DIY these, but if you do, you want to seal the wood with something because otherwise it's going to smell bad and you'll regret every decision you've ever made in your entire life after a week or two. But uh, yeah, I go with wooden ledges. I used to do lava ledges, but the reason I don't anymore is because I have like a 50-50 chance of them coming broken. And then in a matter of a couple of months, usually the ones that weren't broken ended up breaking. So... The wooden ones I do not have that issue with. They're also just way easier to clean. They do get chewed, but uh, you know, everything's gonna get chewed eventually. Lava ledges also get chewed. You can also have bridges. Scared the dog. <laughs> you can also have bridges. So these come in various sizes. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them in pet stores. You can get them on Etsy. Uh, this is from Etsy. This is from Pandemonium Pets. And I also have one in this cage that is from a shop called Adorkable Pets. Hi, baby. Hi. How you doing? Hi. But they come in various lengths, various widths, various woods, various materials. Some people have used garden edging. Some people use, uh, like they make a, a rope bridge kind of like this. I think this is pine. I'm not entirely sure, but I think this is pine. But yeah, I I have also some like small ones in there. I'll put pictures up and stuff. Uh, another great version of ledges slash hammocks is these. I'll get a picture. I'll put a picture up of these uh, like door or wall hammocks where it's like a let it acts as both a ledge and a hammock. All of my rats use these that they don't always sleep on them they use them as like a platform to jump on and then jump off of which is nice i used to have 
when I had uh, one of my old groups, they would all pile in there. So I'd look over and like three rats would be inside of it just staring at me, uh, which I loved. <laughs> it always made me smile. So obviously uh, water bottles are a must, but you can also get a water bowl. And the fun thing about the water bowl is that it's also enrichment because the rats, some rats like to splash in it. I had one rat named Mercy who every day I would just hear the little little splish splashes of water as she like moved her hands in it and I'd look over and she would just be flapping her arms in the water like mad. You can also do seagrass mats or, or bridges. They come in various sizes. They're easy to get a hold of and those work as bridges or in like ropes like as in you can do that instead of ropes although most people do multiple of each. The, some people think you should keep your cages emptier. Some people think they should be more crowded. I think it's up to you personally and what your rats need like if you have older rats or if you have dwarfs and not like a double critter nation you really need to fill the space put as much in there as you can another thing you can get is these bird perches or you can also do the ikea tie holders i do the bird perches because they're very cheap and i'm going to go through them like a, a ton anyway so i might as well just get these ones uh they do have to be replaced pretty often, especially if uh, your rats have no manners and pee all over them or chew them, like mine do. I have to get new ones every single time I do intros because they're just so soaked in pee that I'm just like, yeah, this isn't safe. A must have for every one of my cages is the space pod. I have yet to meet a rat that didn't love a space pod. All of my rats sleep in it, except Humdrum. Probably because she wants to be warm. But all my other rats sleep in it. They, I don't know if you can see their space pod, but like, it's great. <laughs> they love to nest in it. They love to sleep in it. Space pods are a must have. There's also foraging toys. One thing you're going to notice is that uh, a lot of stuff on this list is stuff that's not specific for rats. And that's because there's not a lot of products made specifically for rats that are good, to be perfectly honest. So with foraging toys, Typically, I look up bird foraging toys. So uh, you have the wheel foraging toy. There's an egg one where they spin it and all the food falls out. There's a ball, which I think is supposed to be for guinea pigs, but I'm not entirely sure. There's uh, this like stackable one. There's a ton of versions of that. There's the, the drawers that they have to pull open and get the food out. There's the little tab where they like pull the tab out and get the food underneath it. And all that's great enrichment and it's it works well if you have a rat that's very sensitive to their bedding and if they snuffle through it too much they get an upper respiratory infection you can then feed them in foraging toys instead of scatter feeding uh next up and possibly one of the best things for my rats anyway is baskets honestly like this little these little baskets i i have i just get mine at walmart um they are very cheap but my rats love them they love to sleep in them they love to forage in them if you get like the dollar store ones because you can go to the dollar store and get them for very cheap and you can use that as a foraging area even if it's just for foraging you'll probably find them sleeping in there and sometimes they'll use that as a litter box so if like you have a cage or a corner litter box doesn't really fit you can put a basket in there and use that as a litter box and the rats learn pretty easily to do that thing is hides you don't necessarily need hides like most of the stuff on this list you don't necessarily need it uh but it's just good to have at least i'd say five or six things on this list so with the hides i like to put hides in there so like i have a little house in here and then like the castle hides in here and i've also taken um dax don't rub up on that and i've also taken tupperware from walmart and uh, my dad sanded a little doorway into it and we use those as hides which honestly those are some of the best hides I've had but the rats like to nest around it so I don't know I'll probably have to get a picture and put it up of Heidi uh, she likes to build a nest up around the hide and she'll stuff it as much with bedding as possible so I like to have hides because it is fun for them but not all rats will enjoy it there's a, a ton of other stuff pretty much anything you can think of that can you can put into a rat cage you can make work so like I've seen garden pots I've seen bowls from the dollar store I've seen decorations from the dollar store uh, I've seen all sorts of stuff I've seen there's like the Ikea wine racks there's 
you can even put like cardboard boxes and stuff in there for for, uh, for nesting purposes. There's crinkle paper bedding that is great for nesting. There's so, so many things. So like this is just a short list of a couple of things that you can use. The better you are at DIY, the better <laughs> you'll be at finding stuff to put in the cages because pretty much anything that you think could work would work. So obviously make sure it's safe material, but most materials are safe. Rats aren't gonna, uh, rats don't eat things that they chew very often if it's not edible. So I won't necessarily worry about that. But if you have a chewer, like my weather girls, I can't put anything plastic in their cage except for the baskets because they, they will chew it. They will chew it. <laughs> you can even put a dig box in your cage if you can't have like a deep base or can't do bioactives. The dig box, they, I find a lot of people do that and the rats enjoy it a lot. <clears throat> so like there's a ton of options. These are just a few of them that I feel are good. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. My, my friend's making cookies, <laughs> if you can. But yeah, so those are just a few of the options. So yeah, those are just a few of the options. There's so many things you can do. Any time you think, hmm, I wonder if this would work, give it a try. If it doesn't work, well, at least you tried. You tried, you tried to give them some new arrangement. And that's all that matters. My phone cut off right at the outro because of course it did. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, you know what to do. All the fun stuff down below. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.